Hi, this is Andrew Bells of Steel, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to assemble your four post hydro rack. Now, before we get started, what is the hardest Bells of Steel product you've ever had to assemble? Comment below. So this rack should take you no more than 20 to 30 minutes. And all you need are two tools, 24 millimeter socket and a 24 millimeter box in. I'm gonna choose to do an impact today to make it a little bit quicker. The great part about this rack is it only really has two bolts to consider. They're all 24 millimeters. Most of them are short and there are only a few that are longer. And the reason that we have longer bolts is to attach the four post to the extra two posts in the back and I'll show you guys that later. So this rack is pretty simple. It comes with one bolt. Should be all threaded for all of them. It's gonna have a big washer that goes on the outside and then it goes through the rack. You're then gonna put your lock washer on, on the outside and then your nut. Super simple, tighten it down, good to go. All right, so this rack is decently heavy. Um, so I have it all laid on the floor. I've got my two top and bottoms laid down, and then I've got my BOS laser up, because I'm gonna end up standing this rack up, and those BOSs will be on the outside. Um, pretty simple, take your one bolt and uh, put it through the top hole on the top, the bottom hole on the bottom, and then that'll give you where you need to put the uh, second hole. So go ahead and just start throwing these in, and then we'll tighten it all down once we have all the bolts in. Start putting these bolts in, start at the top corner. I'm gonna do everything loose for now. So if I'm at the top, I'm gonna do one, two, three down from that. So it'll be the fourth hole in. I like everything to look uniform, so I'm gonna put all the big washers on the outside with your uh, locking washer and nut on the inside. Don't need to tighten down, but just once again, locking washer and nut on the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all four posts. Another key thing is these are numbered up and down, so you can't really mess up which side is what. The only thing is make sure the BOS lasering is on the outside. So now that I got the base put together, I'm gonna lightly tighten these so when I stand it up, it's not all over the place. If it's too wobbly, it's really hard to connect the pieces. So just get it very lightly tightened down. I like to go caddy corner. That way one, the top isn't super tight and the bottom's loose or it's off. I like to go caddy corner in a pattern. All right, so I have my second half already set up here. I put it on a box so I can easily put the cross piece in. Um, the rack is as wide as it is long. So this piece, it doesn't matter which one you use. They're all the same width for the four post. So I'm gonna put it on the back side with the top bolt lined up with the top hole. And I'm just gonna put it in so that way when I go to stand the rack up, I'm not fighting gravity to try to get this thing, to try to get this piece up while holding it and putting a bolt in. This just makes it a lot easier. So go ahead and put the back piece on. You can tighten it down if you want. I'd go ahead and leave it loose so that way it's easier to find the other side. I did notice that my Bells of Steel plyo box were great for this as well. Just add it to the list of how many awesome things it can do. I'm just gonna tighten this down real quick as I hit myself in the junk. Again, I'm gonna get it super loose. Just get it just snug. All right, ready for that side? Can, uh, talk about setting that one to the side. So now I got my first half done. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up and set it to the side since it's only me putting it together by myself. I wanna have it standing upright so when I add the second piece, it's super easy to bolt together. It is heavy, so make sure you lift with your back nice and rounded. 
the proper lifting mechanics. These will stand on end, but for safety while I'm moving it, I'm gonna lean it over on this other rack. So now I'm gonna lift the second half to it. I'm gonna keep a bolt in my pocket ready to go, so that way I don't have to fight it, uh, trying to find a bolt as I'm attaching them together. Yes. I'm gonna go get my bolt out. Now I'm gonna grab my second half. Look at that. Stick it in the fourth hole. And just kind of lean back and forth until it's in. Make sure you put that washer on and nut for safety. There you go. Now you can kind of line up better. So now I'm just gonna put the top bolt in. Once again, you wanna leave everything loose. So you can find that hole. And now I'm just gonna move the rack to where I want it to end up being, even though it's loose. Um, that way I can put the pull-up bars in and once I tighten everything down, it's where I want it to be. All right, so with the Hydra line, you can pick different pull-up bars. Um, I know these will all be custom sets eventually. Uh, what specific bar I want or what height I want, what width, so on and so forth. I have two different pull-up bars. I have the straight bar and the multi-grip bar. Um, these don't have to go anywhere specific, so just pick where you want them to go and bolt them in. Uh, I'm going to put the regular pull-up bar up in the front, and I'm going to put the multi-grip pull-up bar more towards the middle. Uh, just make sure they're even on both sides. Go ahead and once you tighten those down, the rack will be really nice secure. So follow me as I put my pull-up bars in. Bolt in. It's the same bolt as all the other ones. Just get one side going in. So now I'm just gonna tighten everything down. Make sure I go cross pattern if you can. So this was how to assemble the new four post Hydra rack by Bells of Steel. I hope this video helped. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe below. Thank you guys so much. Hey folks, Cave on here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment below. And if you want any of the awesome home gym equipment you saw in this video, be sure to follow the links in the description and let the gains begin.